Wouldn't you love to see one of these NFL owners when somebody disrespects our flag to say, get that son of a bitch off the field right now, out, he's fired. He's fired! You know, some owner's going to do that. He's going to say, that guy that disrespects our flag, he's fired. And that owner, they don't know it. They don't know it. They're friends of mine, many of them. They don't know it. They'll be the most popular person for a week. They'll be the most popular person in this country, because that's a total disrespect of our heritage. That's a total disrespect of everything that we stand for, OK? everything that we stand for. And I know we have freedoms and we have freedom of choice and many, many different freedoms. But you know what? It's still totally disrespectful. And you know, when the NFL ratings are down massively, massively, the NFL ratings are down massively. Now, the number one reason happens to be that they like watching what's happening on, you know, with yours for they like what's happening. This, because, you know, today, if you hit too hard, right? They hit too hard, 15 yards, throw him out of the game. They had that last week. I watched for a couple of minutes, and two guys just really beautiful tackle. Boom, 15 yards. The referee gets on television. His wife is sitting at home. She's so proud of him. They're ruining the game, right? They're ruining the game. Hey, look, that's what they want to do. They want to hit, okay? They want to hit, but, but it is hurting the game. But you know what's hurting the game more than that? When people like yourselves turn on television and you see those people taking the knee when they're playing our great national anthem. The only thing you could do better is if you see it, even if it's one player, leave the stadium. I guarantee things will stop. Things will top. Just pick up and leave. Pick up and leave. Not the same game anymore, anyway.